In this video, I am going to explain about Norton's theorem from electrical networks. Hope you have already seen mesh analysis, nodal analysis and Thevenin's theorem in my previous videos. So, Norton's theorem is the converse of Thevenin's theorem. So, instead of equivalent voltage source, here we are considering equivalent current source. Here, the current generator is placed in parallel to the internal resistance. So, the statement for Norton's theorem is that a linear active network consisting of independent and or dependent voltage and current sources and linear bilateral network elements can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source in parallel with a resistance. The current source being the short circuit current across the load terminal and the resistance being the internal resistance of the source network looking through the open circuit load terminus. Then, here there are some terms what do you mean by active network? An active network consists at least one voltage source or current source that can supply energy to the network indefinitely. So, what do you mean by a linear network? A linear network is a network that exhibits constant parameters that is resistance and inductance. These parameters cannot change with the changes in voltage or current. Then what do you mean by bilateral network? A bilateral network is one in which the relation between current and voltage do not change in either direction of the network. So Norton's theorem mainly deals with the linear active network consisting of independent or dependent voltage and current sources. So, current and voltage sources can be either of dependent one or of independent one. Then that linear bilateral network can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source in parallel with the resistance. You can see this is the Norton's equivalent circuit. Here you can see a current source in parallel with the equivalent resistance. That equivalent resistance is named it as R internal. Then here we have connected load resistance RL also. So the current source being the short circuit current across the load terminal and resistance being the internal resistance. So here you have to calculate this R internal value. You also have to calculate the short circuit current across the short circuit terminus. Then you have to uh, connect this load resistor RL. Next is steps for solution of a network using Norton's theorem. First, you have to remove the load resistor. Then you have to find the internal resistance of the source network by deactivating the constant sources. Sources can be either of voltage or current source. Let this resistance, we can call it as R internal. That is this resistance R internal. So, first you have to remove the load resistor and you have to find out the this resistance value R internal. Next, you have to short the load terminus and find the short circuit current flowing through the shorted load terminus using conventional network analysis. Let this current be ISC. By using nodal analysis or by using mesh analysis, you have to find out the short circuit current ISC. Then you have to draw the Norton's equivalent circuit by keeping R internal in parallel to ISC as shown in this figure, this much portion. First you have to calculate this R internal, then you have to calculate this ISC, then you have to redraw this Norton's equivalent circuit. Then you have to reconnect the load resistor RL across the load terminus and the current through is given by IL is equal to ISC that is short circuit current into that R internal that is this resistance 
internal resistance of the source network divided by internal resistance plus load resistance. Let's see this by means of some examples. Find Norton's equivalent circuit to the left of terminus XY in the network of figure. Here is your circuit. Here XY is your terminus. You have to find Norton's equivalent circuit. Your first step is remove the load resistor and find the internal resistance of the source network by deactivating the constant sources. This procedure is exactly similar to Thevenin's theorem but here there is no load resistor. So you can directly short circuit this terminus and you can find out the short circuit current through this. Here circuit is redrawn as shown that is I have short circuit this XY terminus since my load resistor RL is absent I can directly short circuit this X and Y then I have redrawn this circuit in this manner here you can see 5 ohm is in parallel with the 10 ampere as well as this 10 ohm. So now you have to find out the short circuit current that is short the load terminus and find the short circuit current flowing through the shorter load terminus using conventional network analysis. This current I can write it as Ixc. So here you can see Ixc is going in this manner. So Ixc can be taken it as this 10 ampere into using current division rule I can apply 10 ampere into resistance of other branch divided by total resistance. Here this 10 ampere is going in this manner. So I can state it as 10 ampere into this resistance that is 10 ohm divided by total resistance which is 5 plus 10. So Ixc can be written it as 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 5 which is equal to 6.67 ampere by using current division rule. Next, you have to find out the Norton's equivalent circuit. Norton's equivalent circuit can be drawn by keeping R internal in parallel with the ISC. So, first you have to find out R internal. R internal can be found out by deactivating this constant source and you can calculate equivalent resistance value. Here I have redrawn this circuit, deactivate the constant source. So I have deactivated this constant source 10 ampere. Now it is clear that this 5 ohm resistor is in series with the, this 10 ohm. So your R internal can be written it as 10 plus 5 which is equal to 15 ohm. Now you can draw your equivalent circuit. Equivalent circuit means ISC that is short circuit current ISC is in parallel with the R internal resistance. Looking through the terminals X and Y. So here is your terminals X and Y. Here is your R internal resistance which is equal to 15 ohm. Here is your ISC which is equal to 6.67 ampere. This is your Norton's equivalent circuit. Hope you have understood this video. Please subscribe my channel, like my video and share it with your friends. Thank you.